Faith comes by hearing, and hearing the Word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day, presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our Moment of Power topic today is Seven Weapons of the Spirit, Part 9, Prayer. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Ephesians 6.18 Some Bible students think that prayer is not part of the armor of God. The reason why many people would not consider this final piece of the armor God gives the Christian warrior is because Paul did not provide a parallel piece of armor from the Roman soldier's armor to compare his weapon with. Although there are other weapons like spears, arrows, and the battering ram, and even the hoofs of horses, horses that are trained to use their hooves as a weapon, none of these seems to compare with this last piece of the Christian armament. None of these compare to this weapon called prayer. Maybe we can call prayer the secret weapon because of this. Prayer is very powerful. The privilege to pray is one privilege that God has given us that can be compared to nothing else. It can move the hand that moves the universe. Ellen White has this to say concerning the role uh, of prayer in the days of the Reformation. Quote, From the secret place of prayer came the power that shook the world in the Great Reformation. Unquote. The Great Controversy, page 210, paragraph 1. In prayer, we fully rely on God to do the things that no one else can do for us and in us. If we must grow in grace, and have a healthy spiritual life, we must engage in daily prayer. It must become a necessity in our lives, and the truth is that it is indispensable in the warfare that is raging. As the forces of darkness press upon us in strong satanic might, prayer will push them back and defeat them if we have Jesus as our captain. As the battle rages on, we must persevere in prayer, regardless what the outlook appears to be. We must keep praying under dark clouds because the sunlight of the Son of Righteousness will not fail to pierce through the darkness of the clouds. God will send out all the angels of heaven to the rescue of a trusting, praying child of God than allow the forces of darkness to prevail. What are you praying for? What are you praying about? What are you praying against, dear child of God? Healing, fruit of the womb, financial breakthrough against spiritual oppression, deliverances in the lives of your children. Just keep praying. Our God will give you his strength and power and he will send answers to your prayers to encourage your heart. In Jesus' name, he will do this in his own time and in his own way and he will beat your imagination. May this be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen.